coming later see if you don't have a watch. I should be keeping these keys until you sort yourself out. So you've left your mouth at home too, eh? Hey, I'm talking to you. I know, I know. Listen, eh? I have to recover my money first. Sour, eh? This watch is for paying customers now. Run, run. What is wrong with you? Eh? If you keep on feeding your children with business food, eh? you're not going to make any money. Hey, please don't start. I've had a bad night. My husband was arrested yesterday night. I was hoping I'd have a better day at least. Is that why the children are not in school? No, they don't have textbooks. They've been sent home to get them, and I don't have money to buy. What are you talking about? Textbooks are free in schools. Hey, I've never seen free textbooks in my house. That is very strange. Now listen, I'm going to the PTA meeting today, right now. Now you come with me so we can get to the bottom of this. Aye, but I'm not a member of the PDA. You are a parent. That is why the PTA was formed. To help parents find out what is happening in the school. Aye, but surely. Now what you... Hey, Washington, would you like some much? No, sir, thank you, thank you. Mushmi Mabuki, how are you? Fine, Washington. What do you want? Well, I think it's going to be a beautiful day. I was coming to your office and here I you are. I am in a bit of a hurry. Mr. Mabuki, since I came back from prison, things have not been very bright. What prison? You're only there for a couple of days. Please, don't remind me of that, Mr. Mabuki. Washington, what do you want? I have a school meeting to attend. I need a job badly. I'm sorry. I can't help you. Mr. Mabuki, I've paid my debt to society. You of all people should give me another chance. I'm sorry. <laughs> I tell you, the Mapano Market Women's Development Association is really thumbs up. There are this vibrant group that uh, are trying to set up their own farm. So that very soon, they will be selling their own produce and will not have to rely on uh, deliveries from the city. Mm -hmm. That is why I chose them as the first pilot project to show you. Uh, my wife is the treasurer uh, and your mother the secretary. Really? I didn't know that. <laughs> and who looks after the finances? Uh, they do. Uh, my company has provided the loans and I have trained uh, my wife, the, the treasurer, how to fill in the book. So everything is in order. Sounds like a well-oiled machine. Now, <laughs> where's the shamba? Uh, that is the plot of land. But there's nothing growing there. Uh, I am sure there's a very good explanation. Well, I'm sure there is. It's been good talking to you. I have another meeting to attend to. I'm sure I'll enjoy working with you in the future. <laughs> You slept with him last night. You wait until that boy plants an overgrown watermelon into that belly. I'd rather not talk about it. You know, I wish I had the comfort of spending the night where your twisted mind suggests. Okay, why are you late? They should have told us Makutano was under a curfew. Hey, speak English, my sister. What curfew? Chief's orders. I just had a few drinks, and as soon as I hit the streets, I found her scurries rounding people up. I slept in the cell. <laughs> it's funny how you go out with Pippi and his sister puts you in jail. Hi, guys. Hello, Bill. What are you doing? She's fighting with lies. <laughs> Where will a pretty chick like you get lies from? Your friend here was a state guest. She spent the night in the cells. No way. Why? Because of some stupid coffee. The new have a whole army to deal with, and no amount of shampoo will save you. You have to shave Jordan. You're joking. There has to be something I can do without having to get all my hair off. Hey, what brings you here? I can see you have a long queue of customers. They're not customers. I'm interviewing today. Well, I've never interviewed anyone before, so I... Need our help. Good day, Mr. Mabuki. Uh, this is Anna here. She has a problem she wants to present to the committee. I'll be glad to hear it. And on another matter, did you know that last night so many people were arrested? Arrested? For what? The Jeev arrested all those who were out at night. My husband is amongst them. Eve and small Sharon spent the whole night in those cells. Good. 
Now let's get started. Not just yet. I suggest we wait for the chief. She'll be attending this meeting. Since when has the chief attended these meetings? Put it over there. Excuse me. In the future, I would like the PTA to use this board to write down all the money the school makes and where it goes. It's a new initiative that is being encouraged in schools, and uh, I think it's a very good idea. But I keep record of all expenses in the school's account books. Yes, but this way, everyone gets to see how much money there is and where it goes. If, for example, you have a fundraiser for, say, school uniforms, the money raised will be written on the board. Does it work with textbooks? What do you mean? When the school gets money from the government, does it go straight to your account? Yes. It is then given to the school's textbook suppliers. They provide us with the books that we need. The textbook account is in order, though. I don't understand what the problem is. Then who takes care of the books once they get to school? Mm. Obviously, no one. Or my children will not be suffering for lack of textbooks or for being sent home. I'm sure that's not the case. My children don't have the right textbooks either. Or mine. And I thought they were free. Mm. I have never seen free textbooks in my house. So, if they are not lost, then they must have been stolen. Wait, this is a very serious allegation. I'm sure there's a logical explanation for this. Mrs. Mulani. Have you shaved anyone before? What do we use to make white hair black? You think you're good? What is pedicure? Do you have a girlfriend? Do you have just hair? Do you shave it or black it? What do we use to make white hair black? What is the circumference of a normal head? Was mom. Have you shaved anyone before? What is wrong with this one? Do you have just hair? Yeah, now I'll demonstrate how to shave, yeah. You cannot accuse Rose of illegally selling school textbooks in her husband's bookshop. So where are they then? Some students lose their books and blame it on the school. I've never seen any free textbooks in my house. And our children don't try. Please, will everyone calm down? Firstly, I'd like to remind you all that my husband's bookshop has closed down. Secondly, every textbook that comes to this school is issued to the students by the school's deputy, Mr. Kamau. And I trust to keep the records? Of course. Then might I suggest that you bring somebody in to audit the accounts? Are you implying that we have misappropriated the money? I did not say that, Councillor. But these parents have presented a reasonable argument that there is a problem. And I think it is up to us to do whatever we can to rectify it. After all, that's why we're here. Your tone seems to suggest that we're hiding something. What I am saying is that if we appoint a neutral person whom everyone agrees to, then nobody can object to the findings. I agree with the chief. Councillor Mabuki, this issue would not have arisen if everything was running smoothly, would it? I agree with the chief too. I have nothing to hide. <sighs> he was the last one. What am I going to do? I can't run this place by myself. I've already cut three people, and once you get a reputation as a bleeder, you're ruined. Hey, Sharon, I've been looking everywhere for you. I heard about what my insane sister did, and I'm really, really sorry. I'll just have to find a way for you to make it up to me. I, I can't. That's what I came to tell you about. I have too much work to do. And between the farm and the milk bar and looking after Brian and Diana, I just I hardly have any time to sleep. Hey, what are you complaining about? I've just interviewed every out-of-work bar in Kenya and still have no one. I'm never going to find someone, so I should just give up and close the barbers now. Or maybe I could come and work part-time. It's getting too crowded in our salon. Oh, it's hopeless. Where am I going to get someone to fill Ben's shoes? Doji D, a.k.a. Rosotin in the house, yo! Coming from the women's chamber, there's nothing. What have you people been doing? Madam, why are you shouting at me? The land is not even prepared. Where's Mama Mboga? Oh, so it is Mama Mboga you're shouting at? No, I mean, I gave you the money as soon as the loan was approved. So why haven't you people made use of the land as was planned? 
the market women have not agreed on what crops to plant. Then why didn't you tell me you are having problems instead of letting me make a fool of myself in front of the chief? Mamboka was going to tell you. It is you I work with! You're the treasurer! You're supposed to tell me when things are not working. Because it's you I will ask. Oh, so what do you want me to do about it? I want you to go and bring the market women's books. Mamamboga asked them. You are the one supposed to keep financial records, not Mamamboga. You're the treasurer and you're not taking your responsibility seriously. I showed you how to fill in those books. So why aren't you keeping them? Margaret, I asked you a question. Why aren't you keeping them? Oh, I can't read. Don't call me dog again. My name is Bill. Relax, man. Chill out. It's a beautiful day. With Dodgy D in the house, nothing can go wrong, bro. So, do you have any older brothers? Um, I come from quite a pack of dogs. Three. The main dog, my dad, uh, not counted. And two pit bull terriers. I'm the puppy. <laughs> I never knew Ben had a barber for a cousin. Hey, Ben the Rasta man. That's my favorite dog, man. He, he's the German Shepherd. Uh, he sent me this postcard from Jamaica. Take care of barbers in Makutano. <laughs> Here stands the man. <laughs> Great. Uh huh. Uh, we need to turn this place round. Make it kind of unisex, yo. I can see you haven't bought uh, the relevant chemicals or shampoo for things like uh, blowout. Wait, wait. Who are Chazako? Don't ever dream of doing what our salon does. Hey, no, 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 my apple juice. I'll never do that. But just think of it as a, a collabo. Okay. We'll need the telly over here and uh, a big bottle of sweets and chocolates over there for the fruity babes. <laughs> now, Mr. D or whatever your name is, mm. this is not in the movies or LA. This is Makutano. We have run this place the way it is and things are just fine. Be progressive, bro. Only a fool stands in the path of uh, a miser. <laughs> this is development. <laughs> Mr. Matano. Ah, Mr. Mabuki. Come in. What can I do for you? Run for chief. I'm sorry. I've just had a few differences of opinion with a very inexperienced chief. Ah, so how can I help you? Go through these books. Hope seems to think we are stealing textbooks. And uh, I have been thinking that in the African context, a chief is supposed to be a leader who works with the people. But this hope seems to be working to arrest the people. So you've heard of the arrest? Yes. I'm not the stranger in Jerusalem. I have ears and a big mouth. Excuse me? It's just that today, I woke up with my foot in my mouth and my wife will not talk to me. Ah. <laughs> I always buy Priscilla perfume when I'm in such a situation. Reverend Bishop, Washington Kajiwe. What can I do? I see business is good. So? Your assets and liabilities are balancing. Do I look like an accountant to you? Do you want meat or not? Okay. Uh, give me a uh, quarter kilo of meat. Mm -hmm. On credit. On credit? No money, no meat. Hakuna kopa kopa. I'll pay you. Don't you trust me? No. How about a loan? With interest. Try Karis. Next door. He won't give me any more money. I don't have collateral. I already owe him too much. The doc's idea is that you're going to take it? I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I've been to see the chief. But there was a problem with the school books. I'm sorry about today. I got you this.
Mr. Matano has told me that the records show that there were books delivered to your school, but only half were issued. How can this be? My deputy here is in charge of the school stores. Can you explain this? Uh, yes. Our chief, the children are lying. You see, we issued all the books as per the guidelines. Maybe they just lost them, because I've realized that some of them do not even have bags to carry them. When you issue books, do you keep a record of which child gets which book? Of course we do. Uh, no, we don't. Well, actually stopped keeping that. I realized that it was a waste of time, you know? What is the meaning of this? We just can't come into this town and start arresting people. I haven't arrested anyone. We're trying to get to the bottom of this. Please, take a seat. You were saying that you stopped taking records of the books. This seems like very strange behavior. <clears throat> Margaret, it is not your fault, but your husband is right. We should call for a meeting immediately to decide what vegetables to plant. Our own installment is very due, sit here. Hey, hey. Just imagine how happy we can be eh, after selling and eating our own vegetables. Maggie, I'm tired of drinking Uchi. We can use the chief's blackboard idea and write down all the money we make. By the way, it is a very good idea. Mm -hmm. eh? I should put some money aside for this blackboard. Then we can know how we spend our money. Yeah. We don't want our vegetables ending up like the test. Yeah, it's true. Mm. Ay, so, let me tell you, I still don't trust that headmistress. I'm oh. sure she stole them. Oh, Chata, Rose has done some very good things for that school. Aye, then where are the textbooks then? How would I know? But she said she's calling us for the meeting us this afternoon. Then we can find out. Mama Bob. Eh? I hope our loan money is safe in the bank. Eh? What bank? I put the money under my mattress. What? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Hey. You put our loan money in your bed. Are you crazy? What? I don't trust banks. Eh? Besides, we are going to remove that money very soon. <laughs> we are going to find the vegetables. Hey, if I put that much money in my mattress, yeah. Papa Tomasi would spend more time in my bed. <laughs> Why did you do it? Madam Rose. I owed the Shylock a lot of money, and I'm sorry. You mean you jeopardized the learning of our children because of a gambling debt? You're a disgrace. And Rose, you should have had sufficient control procedures in place to make sure this kind of thing doesn't happen. I hold you responsible. We have a culprit who has just confessed. You can't hold Rose I responsible. I agree with the chief. I'm the headmistress. I should have paid close attention to what was happening in my own school. Mr. Kamau. Yes. You are suspended. What? Take him away. Look, wait, wait, wait. Chief, chief, wait, chief, wait. I've, I've, the books are still in school. I've locked them in a cardboard. I haven't had time to sell them yet. You'll show my Ascari. Go now. Listen, chief. Go! Chief, please, please, listen, chief. Chief. Uh... Hey, you must know some cool pineapples tossed my way. I saw the look of that uh, apple pie small Sharon gave you, and I knew you're the dog, man. Hey, does she have any sisters I could uh, dig my teeth in? Hey, man, what's up? You're going to walk a hole in the floor, boy. I've just got a lot on my mind. I'm meant to be visiting my dad in hospital, taking small Sharon dancing, and fixing the roof on the cow shed, all at the same time. My dad thinks just because he's sick that I should stop living my life and start running his. I even have to find someone to run my own business. Hey, life is too short to start worrying, boy. Dogs must be on the run all the time. I <laughs> guess it'll take some time to understand what you're saying. Hey, look, Puffy. I know what you need to let that steam off. Walk with me. I wanted to apologize for what happened to our school textbooks. As you can see now, I have written down how much money we received from the instructional material fund, how many books we bought, and what classes they've been issued. I think the blackboard is a very good idea. And I'd like to thank the chief for donating it to the school. I would also like to thank Mr. Matano for helping us find out what happened? What about that deputy head teacher who stole our children's books? Mr. Kamau has been suspended and will be punished. He should be jailed for stealing our children's education. Yeah. The good news is the books have been recovered. And they'll be issued to your children tomorrow. 
I have uh, a suggestion. Even though, of course, I, I'm neither a parent nor a member of the PTA. But of course, if you want me, I can keep quiet and die with my eyes. Please, Mr. Batano, go ahead. <clears throat> well, I, I was thinking that if each of these books were numbered, it might be easier to keep track of these books. For instance, if we kept a chart with each student's name on one side, and the number of the book this student has taken, mm -hmm. then it might be easier to keep track of the direction these books have gone. And it will be easy to recycle the books for next year's students. That's an excellent idea, Mr. Matano. This is the medicine, man. In Jamaica, they call it ganja. Here they call it bang, and it's illegal. All things are forbidden, brah. Remember the Garden of Eden? Ah. Try some. You feel like you've never felt before. No, I'm fine. Come on, buddy. Yeesh. I thought I was hanging out with the real dog, man. I didn't know you were just chicken. Okay, okay, okay. Give it. <laughs> ah, there you go. Soon you'll have your own paradise. You rule, man. <coughs> Margaret, are you okay? You look a bit sad. I'm fine. It's only that sometimes I envy you. Me? Why would you say that? You are so educated. Sometimes I wish Matano had married somebody like you. You know what? Today I wasn't very smart. In fact, I'm very lucky to still have my job. And you know what else, Margaret? Sometimes I wish I was more like you. Huh? Me? Yes. <laughs> what it is about me that you envy? You have a husband who adores you and he'll do anything for you. You're a very smart woman, Margaret, to have married him. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Madam Headmistress. Yes. How are you? I'm fine, Mr. Washington. Uh, I know this is not the best place to say this, but maybe it's just my lucky day. Excuse me? Someone told me that you're looking for a teacher, that there's some kind of a shortage at the school. Yes, so? Ah, uh, you see, before I took up medicine, I was a teacher. I have my certificate and references. Please, I need a job badly. Well, um, I have to talk with the chief and Mr. Mabuki. But you can come to my office tomorrow morning with all your papers. Thank you very much. And may God bless you abundantly. Thank you very much. Margaret. Sweetie, before you start shouting, it was not my fault that the crops were not planted. Of course, you're right. But why didn't you tell me you can't write, huh? I was ashamed. Ayubu. You know, you're so clever and I'm just... My wife and the most smartest woman I've ever seen. <laughs> Forgive me. What can I say? You married a good. <laughs> I forgive you. <laughs> but only if you promise to show me how to work out the books. You know, I want to do my work as a treasurer properly. Of course. <laughs> <laughs>